Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back to Brad's Bourbon Reviews, the podcast. I'm Brad and today I wanted to get an episode out first off, um, story time, got a new microphone. I've always wanted this microphone. I have, you know, every podcast I listen to uses it. I have seen so many reviews of it being a great microphone. I've always wanted one. Uh, it stirred from like me as a teenage boy seeing Pete Loeffler from Chevelle use one of these in like a video when he was recording vocals. And ever since then, I was like, I really want that microphone. And then like I saw like Joe Rogan and like every podcast in the world uses these microphones. And I was just like, I time to upgrade. I've had the other microphone that I've had for like 12 years. So it's time to upgrade microphones. Got, I got this one and I'm very happy with it so far. Uh, story time though, I'm opening this up. And there's this little, you can actually see it in, uh, in the frame. It's this little piece right here. I was screwing it on to, so this is like all part of the microphone that comes with it. And then this like screws on. And then you have to put, uh, for this microphone stand, this little gold piece. And I was screwing it in place and I had it with my finger and I was like, I was watching a podcast and I <laughs> kept screwing, kept screwing, kept screwing. And I turned it to do like what I thought was the last, uh, turn. And it completely like my finger was like on this and it went shwink and it cut off the entire it's still on because I didn't take it off. I was too scared to like pull it off, uh, but it cut off the entire fingerprint area on my pointer finger and I've bled through two bandages now and I don't know if I should be going to the hospital for stitches, but we're going to we're going to we'll, I'll, I'll know one way or the other. Um, honestly, if it, if it had been my left hand since I play guitar, I probably would have gone because I wouldn't, I wouldn't have wanted to not have that. So, uh, yeah, fun times. Uh, but I thought it'd be really fun to go through and look at some upcoming whiskeys in 2024 that I'm excited to get my hands on. Hopefully I get my hands on these. Um, I'll tell you what's not going to be on that list that Daniel Weller, that $7,500 bottle of Daniel Weller. That's not on this list. Cause I know I'll never even, I might actually, I take that back. I might see one, um, polite pig at Disney Springs gets a lot of like super rare stuff. They have a double Eagle, very rare. I tried Mr. Sam the other night. That'll be another story we'll get into on the show. Uh, so why don't we just go ahead and start with that story. Then we'll go look through the Instagram account coming whiskey and see if there's anything that like tickles my fancy for 2024. I know there's a few that I'm excited about off the top of my head, but we'll get, we'll get to it when we get to it. So first up, uh, I think I've tried the best whiskey I've had this year so far. Uh, I'm going to be doing a, once we get a little closer to June, I'm going to be doing like a mid year. What have I had? That's incredible video, like best bourbons of the year so far kind of thing. And I think I found the one that I have, I have like, I, I, I loved. And like, it's one of those ones too. It's, it's I'm talking about Mr. Sam. Uh, it is an absolutely incredible, incredible bottle. It was the best bottle of the night. Uh, I was with a buddy, Robert Fernandez. You guys probably know who he is if you're over on TikTok. Thank you, Robert. I know I've told you this a thousand times and I sent you a bottle of Elmer Tilly as a thank you. But uh, thank you for that night. That was incredible. So we started the night off with, it's a tie for me for which one I think is actually the best. So I got to try Detling. I think that's how you say it. Detling, Detling, Detling. I think it's Detling. Detling bottled and bond. That might be more up my alley, but that bottle of Detling is incredible if you get your hands on it i'm i think it's bottled and bond i think it's definitely bottled and bond it's unbelievable i know they're still on seal box and i'm like debating on on just pulling the trigger because i think i need it i think i need it in my life it was so good i absolutely adored that bottle so uh thank you for that and thank you for all the pours that we got we also tried a terrible and i mean terrible stag pick i mean it was it was shockingly bad it was shockingly bad. It was just not good. So I had not had a bad pick of stag yet until that point. And now that I have, I'm like, ooh, those uh, those picks might not be all they're cracked up to be sometimes. Uh, it was it was it was offensively bad. It was really, really, really bad. It actually was probably the worst thing we had that night. Um, I think the other one that he tried, he had just never had it before was Bowman Brothers port finish, which I'm okay. I think is okay. I like Bowman Brothers stuff. I just, I'm not huge into, especially port finish. I'm just not huge into, into the finished whiskeys. Uh, but that was not good, but that stag was brutal. And then we tried Mr. Sam. And I think that might be, it's either that or the debt link for one and two. I think, I think I liked the debt link better than I liked the Jack Daniels 10 and 12 this year, but only marginally. Only marginally, but that was uh, that was my little my little night there. That was a lot of fun. I had I had a great time. 
Mr. Sam was great. I, I don't know a ton about it. They told me during the time we were there and I don't remember. I think it's some sort of Canadian whiskey blend and it's like pretty old if I remember correctly. I really, really liked it. It was really solid. I think it's a rye whiskey. I don't remember what's in it. Whatever, I don't even know what release it was. We forgot to ask. But whatever that was, was absolutely incredible. Big fan of that. If you can find Mr. Sam, you can't. <laughs> I, it's the only time I've ever seen a bottle was at, was at Disney Springs. And it had been on my bucket list for a while to try. And thanks to Rob, I was able to do so. So thank you, buddy. I really appreciate it. Um, all right, let's move into some upcoming whiskey releases that we're getting excited for. Let's see what we got. And of course, as always, I am using the great website coming, or the great Instagram account, I should say, great Instagram account coming whiskey. And the first one that I want to talk about is the Heaven Hill Bottled and Bond 13 year coming in at 100 proof. That sounds absolutely delicious. I love Heaven Hill. Uh, that distillery has really, really grown on me. When I first started drinking bourbon, I wasn't huge into Heaven Hill, but the more I go into exploring, especially like their really higher age stuff, it's really, really good. I had Robert will be watching this comment down below which Heaven Hill bottled and bond we had because I don't remember which one it was. Or maybe not even bottled and bond. We had we had something. It was like a 17 year, maybe 15 year. I don't remember which one it was when I was at your house. So comment down below so we clear that up for me. But it was fantastic. Of course, we had the Jack Daniels 14 year. And now here's the thing. I had heard from a friend in North Carolina that it had dropped in North Carolina already. And then I was at a to I was at Total Wine last week and a gentleman was there and said that his friend was at the distillery like a few days ago or like a week ago and said that he talked to someone and they said they hadn't bottled it yet. So I don't know who to believe. If you've seen it in anywhere, comment, let me know because that bottle for me, listen, I, you guys know I love my Jack Daniels. That bottle for me is like the one that I must have this year, like must have. Like you can you can have BTAC, you can have Pappy, you can have, you can have anything else you want. Just somebody please <laughs> please let me get my hands on that bottle i love jack daniel so much and i'm so excited for this 14 year uh what else we got this is interesting this is the uh, chicken cock 15 year i have not had a single sip out of anything from chicken cock i hear like kind of weird things like people say it's just kind of like overly expensive if anyone's had any of that let me know because i would love to like try that. I just, I just have it. I see it all around. It's like always there. I've almost gotten the chicken cock double oaked a few times because I love double oaked bourbon, but I just haven't uh, pulled the trigger on it for whatever reason. But who knows? If it's any good, let me know. Uh, we also have, this is going to be very sought after and highly, highly allocated. Uh, the Fireball Blazing Apple. Yep, that's coming. <laughs> Again, don't know who that's for. 33% alcohol. God, that's, that's just, ugh. Uh, this is the um, Parker's Heritage Barrel Finished 14-Year Straight Malt Whiskey Finish and Reconstructed Heavy Char Cognac Barrels. I know I just said I'm not into finishing, and I'm not, but I have never had a Parker's that I didn't love. So I am 100% down for that. Also, that one um, does come in at 107 proof, which I think is like a really solid proof point for finished stuff. Uh, this is from a while ago now. This is for, was released on May 5th, but it's Blue Note honey rye cask that sounds interesting i really like blue note blue note is i, I don't want to say underrated because everyone knows that like the un, the the uncut stuff the barrel proof or whatever the uncut unfiltered i think it's what they call theirs is really really solid but i feel like it's just not talked about enough so um I'm excited about that. I'll be, I'll be, I will, if I can find one of those, I'll be picking that up for sure. So I just want to give you guys a little bit of info here at what the upcoming reviews are going to be. I'm actually going to start going through all the bottles that I have opened and never reviewed. A lot of these bottles I bought before I was doing bourbon reviews. And so some of them I did review obviously, and then some of them I haven't. So I'm going to go through a backlog of stuff that I haven't opened or haven't uh, reviewed yet. But also I'm gonna be reviewing these two bottles. Uh, first off is the Redwood Empire Screaming Titan. I am so excited to finally have this. This is a weeded bourbon, uh, comes in at 96 proof. I'm very excited to get my hands on this. this. This is one of the ones from early in the year that I said I really wanted to get my hands on and I just have not seen it in person yet. Luckily my buddy Brandon was out in Boston and found one uh, at retail. So I was like, let's freaking do it. So I traded him something for it and uh, 
patch one of this. I'm very excited. I, Redwood Empire, like, I don't think they know how much I love them. I, I love Redwood Empire. They're great. Uh, and then at some point this week, I'm going to also, or next week, I think, I'm going to also be reviewing this Jack Daniels Tennessee Taster. This is selection number six from spring of 2020. And it is straight Tennessee whiskey finished with Jamaican, uh, with toasted Jamaican allspice wood. So we'll be giving that a shot. So uh, a lot of cool stuff coming up. Make sure you don't miss out on anything. Go subscribe to YouTube. We hit 900 subscribers today over on YouTube. Let me make sure that hasn't gone up at all before. It just happened not too long ago. Yep. We are still at 900 subscribers on YouTube. Once we hit 1,000, I will be doing that giveaway where I give one person uh, five two-ounce samples out of anything I have in the entire whiskey collection, and they'll be sent to you for nothing. So make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on that. And again, another short episode. Uh, short episode this week, but it's only because I have some things that I'm working on and I was kind of hoping they would happen this week, but they didn't. So I've got some plans and it's going to be fantastic. Uh, this podcast is going to go back to interview style. Uh, and Timmy will be back too. We were supposed to hang out again and then he got sick. So we just, we cannot catch a break me and him. So thank you guys for watching. I will see you on the next one until then. Cheers. Cheers.